how manipulative people ruins you with emotional invalidation. Manipulation, as we all know, is not a newbie context. It's a means to maneuver things and people into doing what we want. It does not only help us manage a whole lot in our lives but helps people get out of trouble. Throughout human studies, it has been identified that certain people engage in a high rate of manipulation and are most time called narcissists. They tend to be very smart and play on others' mindsets to trick them into doing what they want. Such maneuvers are often beautiful and unique till their techniques are discovered, then the victim will feel bad. One of the means of manipulation is emotional invalidation. It's a trick that helps narcissists make you feel worthless. Remember that as we said before, they are very brilliant. Often, their brilliance makes them feel like no one is like them, hence giving them a highly personal elated self-esteem. And with such a mindset, when people with lower self-esteem come to meet them for advice, maybe be as a family member to the narcissist or as a friend, they then emotionally invalidate the person. Making the person feel like their emotions are not worth expressing. Though sometimes, they do this unintentionally, other times, it's their a plot to get into your heads. To emotionally invalidate you, they would claim not to be aware of your experience. Even if it's the day's topic, they would often get to avoid it. They often use phrases like, it could be worse, you know. Just get over it when things go wrong. As if the emotional attachment you should and would feel towards that event as an emotional being is not what you should feel. Instead, they would advise you to overlook it. Again, they can come with advice as a means of guidance to you. They often visit this advice when you are feeling bad. Though at times, their aim is not to step down your emotions, rather, they think they are helping you, and it's what, they too, would convince you to believe. But they are not. Cause once you start listening to them and accepting what they told you as the truth, you will slowly start losing your emotional sense. You will, in a way, start depending on them to validate your emotions instead of your guts. This makes you dependent on them for your decision making. In conclusion, it won't be a good experience for anyone to depend less on the emotional feeling for guidance and judgment. Once you allow a narcissist to invalidate you emotionally, that is what happens. To avoid such, when you feel down, don't go out to tell everyone what's happening to you how it happened exactly, use other characters and events to give that person an example, and ask them what they would have done in such situations. From what they tell you, analyze it yourself with your guts and emotions and conclude. Don't let anyone validate your feelings for you. For if that can validate it, they can invalidate it too.